One of the most uh, common questions we get asked uh, as a paediatric oncologist, especially when patients are first diagnosed, parents want to know, what can I do for my child? And the immediate question is, is there any diet? Is there any food supplements? Is there anything I should be giving my child to either diminish the side effects of the, of the therapy or even affect the outcome of disease? This has been one of my interests of whether nutrition has a biological role in, in the causes of cancer. Uh, and more importantly, how can we support our patients when they're going through treatment, when they often become malnourished, uh, how we can support them with additional food supplements. Probably 40% of our patients who are getting intensive chemotherapy, and there are obviously different levels of chemotherapy dependent on the underlying disease and stage, but the ones that are getting very intensive chemotherapy almost every week uh, at high dosages um, frequently become malnourished. They lose weight um, and uh, they lose muscle bulk um, and they become essentially malnourished which can put them at higher risks of side effects of chemotherapy as well as at higher risk of infections. So part of it is how do we intervene, one, whether to stop um, them becoming malnourished by being proactive, uh, where the current modality is that uh, physicians and nurses are reactive. In other words, unfortunately, we wait until they're malnourished and then we intervene, as opposed to saying, well, shouldn't we be looking at and preventing it in the first place? So that's one of the areas that uh, we've been trying to investigate more. Well, one of the things that is very poor, poorly taught uh, both uh, in medical school and also to paediatric residents when they're going through their general paediatric training is how to adequately assess a patient from a nutritional basis. And we refer to the ABCDs of nutritional assessment. Most people just think of weight, and weight is a very poor assessment on its own of nutritional status. A stands for anthropometric, in other words, weight included, height, head circumference, um, looking at what's called your uh, mid-arm upper circumference, looking at your tricep skin folds, looking at your BMI. Um, these are all measurements that should be included as part of the anthropometric measurements. The B stands for biochemical. There are a number of laboratory tests that you can look at to assess nutritional status. For example, there's one called pre-albumin, which gives us your status uh, of a relatively acute status of whether you have adequate protein or not. There are a number of micro deficiencies that occur during treatment of patients, for example, vitamin D, zinc, etc. These are all important in maintaining normal growth and development, normal immune function. The D stands for the dietary history. What actually is the patient eating? How much are they eating? Can you do a calorie count, a protein count, and is it a diet that will contain the appropriate micronutrients as well? So a full assessment, uh, which is really only adequately done by a dietitian, is frequently not done at all in our patients. So one of the first things we should be doing proactively is assessing the patient's nutritional status at diagnosis and at various time points during their treatment. We do know that up to 40% of patients will become malnourished with intensive chemotherapy and radiation therapy. One of the most common questions for parents is about how can I support my, my child dietary wise. Uh, we do in our institution refer them to a qualified registered dietitian to help them uh, organize a balanced diet. There isn't one food substance or one supplement that is the magic bullet from a nutritional perspective. The most important thing is to have a balanced diet in terms of protein, carbohydrates, fat, micronutrients. Try and encourage your child to eat small amounts more frequently than large amounts at dinner time or at one point uh, during the day. That can frequently be difficult, and obviously children have their own dietary preferences. Uh, they want the ice cream, uh, they don't want the apple. Um, so th these are problems in, in managing, especially young children. But um, a lot of us do believe that nutritional support is important in diminishing side effects of chemotherapy and maintaining a healthy status. Whether it affects the total outcome in terms of disease cure, there are some evidence that it may, but that is still to be evaluated with proper evidence.